My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a panda in Photoshop. So I'm going to show you uh, the panda's head, because it's its most signature part of its body. So I'm going to just give you a quick little demo on how to draw. So the first thing you can do is, if you want to, just make it a little simple on yourself, draw an oval. And the way you do this is you can go to the, right below the type tool is the shape tool, the rectangle tool. Just hold down rectangle and go to the ellipse. And you'll get your circle. And then the second thing you want to do is go to your layers, hit control, and rasterize your shape. And this will just make it so it's editable. And now just add a couple of layers if you want to. Um, I'm going to add a couple just so I have them there. Next to your trash can, you've got this button. Hit that. It's tr that's the create a layer button. And I'm just holding that there in case I need it later. So now I'm going to go over to my paintbrush tool. And then I'm going to go up to my brushes. And you're actually going to want some brushes that are a little bit hairier than this. So let's go to dry media brushes. And you say OK. And we're gonna, I'm going to just quickly mess around and see if this will work. OK, yeah, that'll be great. So then you can just go around your circle really quickly and make it so it's kind of fuzzy. But the panda's head is more shaped kind of like this. And if you're having issues with symmetry like me, you can always pick one side that you like better. In my case, it's this side. And I'm going to copy it by pushing Command-C or Control-C, depending on what computer you have, and selecting it all, deleting it, and pasting it. And then I'm going to go over up to the Move tool, and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to hold down Option, and as you can see, there's a double arrow. I'm going to just drag it. I'm going to go back to the Marquee tool, click that. And I'm going to hold Control, click, Retransform. And then I'm going to control click again and I'm going to flip horizontal. And then you're going to go up here and you're going to select the check button. So now we've got our two sides. And then you can um, go over to your layers. You can hold control, merge down. And this will just make it so that now it's one shape. So now I have the head shape. But we're not quite finished yet because we've got the, the mouth. So just make a little bit of a shape kind of like that. All right. And the eyes are the most interesting part, in my opinion, of the panda. But I'm going to choose a different brush. So I'm actually going to go to special effects brushes. I'm going to say OK. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to wet media brushes because this has some options for, yeah. You know what? I'm going to change my mind one more time and just go back to basic brushes just for right now. We're probably going to go back in a minute. So then pick the bl black because that's the color of their eyes. And then we're going to start with the shape of the panda's eye. And this is the patch that they have on their eyes. Oops, and see, I already made the mistake of, this is where you're going to want a new layer. And remember that the panda's eye is kind of like a kidney bean shape, almost. And then you can select the marquee tool, and you can actually hold control, click, free transform, I don't know why it's doing that. And you can do exactly what we did with the other side of the face. You just hold down Option so that you have that double arrow, drag, and it makes a copy. And then you're going to just do exactly what we did, free transform, flip horizontal. And now we've got the, the eyes. 
So I'm almost fun, uh, finished here actually. And you're gonna lower the size of your brush and the way you do that is going up to the brush panel and just changing the master diameter. And then we're gonna make the nose. They have kind of a cool arrow-like nose. And you can make, if you want, the mouth. It might help if you did it really lightly. Okay, and now we've got the ears to add. So I'm going to add a layer beneath this furry layer. Change the diameter to 21. And you can actually, if you want, you can even go back to your dry media brushes. Select the one you picked before and start making the ears. You can do what we did with the face. And you can move it to the right spot. All right, so we're almost finished. Now all we have to do is add the eyes. I'm going to go back to my basic brushes. And if you want, you can go in with some gray and define the nose a little bit. And I'll just go ahead and actually copy that. Now I can make his nose a little more defined. And there you have your panda face. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw a panda in Photoshop. Thank you.